Hey everybody, what's up? This is Bad Out of Brooklyn. Um, and if you're new to my page, um, hi. My name is Ash and I make motorcycle content, or at least I'm trying to, so thanks for being here. Just a little background. So I started riding pretty recently. You know, just about a year ago, I started on a Sportster. I had a 2012 Iron 883. Um, unfortunately, I uh, had to retire that bike because um, she was totaled in October. Um, and if you wanna hear more about that story, um, I made a video about my motorcycle accident from last year and I linked it below. Um, and I recently upgraded to a 2018 Fat Bob 114 Beefcake. Um, and I love her so much. She's really incredible. Um, but I am actually here to talk to you, um, not about my accident, but about how it's like affected me getting back on a bike. Motorcycle accidents are really common, which is terrible. Um, but no one talks about what happens afterwards or how someone works back to getting back on a bike. So here I am. So I didn't really, I didn't really realize that I had like some issues that I was dealing with after my accident, like issues for, for lack of better words. I realized that um, I started having some new reactions to things in traffic situations in a car. Um, so if I was riding passenger and um, we had to stop short um, or stop hard or get close to the car in front of us, living in New York, this was like literally every other car ride. <laughs> um, I started to realize that like I would hold my breath, like my chest would get really tight and I would like hold on to the door, um, like almost like bracing myself. Um, and I couldn't control it. It started to happen every single time this similar instance would occur in the car. I decided I wanted to talk about it because I, I, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't. So yeah, I started to have these involuntary reactions in the car. Um, and I have a therapist, not because of this accident, um, just because I find it to be really helpful and healthy. Um, so no shame and don't shame me because I will not tolerate it. Um, but best decision, one of the best decisions I ever made was to, to get a therapist, but anyway. So I was talking to her about it and um, she really helped me like understand why this was occurring. So it actually is one, like I said, involuntary. So it's my body and mind's natural reaction to bracing for the bad thing that occurred once during this similar situation to happen again. So really, like, I just need to go through it. The only way to get over it is to go through it multiple times to retrain myself that the bad thing doesn't always happen. So this incident doesn't always happen, doesn't always yield the bad result. Um, and honestly, just understanding why it was happening helped me significantly. Uh, my reactions are, a bit less drastic, I would say, and I would definitely say they're getting better. Um, and the other thing I noticed was that I was starting to have hesitations to get back on my bike. So immediately after the accident, I wanted to get back into riding. I wanted to get another bike. I knew I wanted a fat bob. I will talk about why I wanted a fat bob in another video. I have plans for that. Um, and I will introduce you to Beefcake. Um, but the search began and I didn't want to waste time, and I didn't. And I found my beefcake, and I love her dearly. Um, but it was also the end of the riding season. By the time I found her, it was November. I had to winterize her. And then um, we were preparing for our move, so I actually didn't really get to ride her much. I test rode her, and that was really it. Once we, so once we got here, and like the opportunity to really ride the motorcycle came up, I found myself being like, I don't, do we have to go for a ride today? Like, I don't know if I want to go for a ride today. And I started to have like these hesitations and um, started to feel like really stressed out about the idea of getting on the motorcycle. Granted, there were a couple other scenarios that came into play, right? Like I'm in a new area, I don't know the roads. Um, 
It's a new bike. I'm learning more about the bike. I'm building the relationship with this new motorcycle. Um, the bike has significantly more power. I mean, it was, I came from an 883, I'm on a 114. Um, so it was just a lot of adjustments and then also coming from this motorcycle accident. Um, and since I didn't waste any time in the beginning, I didn't really allow, I didn't really allow that fear to set in, which I'm so thankful I did what I did. I'm so glad I didn't let that set in, but now it started to hit me. So essentially what I did, which was incredibly helpful, was I planned out tiered rides. The first ride back on the bike was just around the neighborhood with my fiance, so I wasn't alone. Cruised around the neighborhood, got a feel for it. Um, tried to, just wanted to see how I felt, if the anxieties were still present while I was on the bike, etc. cetera. Um, second tier would be like running an errand or um, being in a higher traffic scenario. And um, like third tier, same thing, higher traffic scenario, further distance fourth tier getting back on the highway. Um, so I was really nervous for the first ride. I was really prepared to maybe do like one or two rides the first week. Um, but honestly, as soon as I got on the bike and the bike started moving, um, my anxieties melted away and I felt totally fine, which was such, such a relief. <laughs> honestly, because I, I love riding so much. Um, so after the, the first ride was done, I was like, all right, second ride, we're gonna go for an errand, but I did it the next day. Um, I like just pushed forward a little quicker than um, I was planning, which is great and I'm so stoked about. Um, and I ended up doing like four rides the first week and um, I feel like I'm back, man. Like I feel good about it and I just, <laughs> I'm just so excited and so freaking relieved. Like you have no idea. Um, oh, it just makes me so happy that like those fears are gone. So I haven't made it onto the highway yet. I'm going this weekend. Um, and the only reason it hasn't, I, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> the only reason I haven't gone on the highway yet um, was because I didn't have a headset. I feel totally ready to ride on the highway. Um, I just wanted to have the safety net of being able to talk to my fiance, um, just in case I did feel some anxieties or I felt uncomfortable or um, something wasn't right, or just to give him the opportunity to like, just have an extra set, set of eyes on the road, right? Like he could give me a heads up if someone is coming in my lane and I didn't see them. Um, and vice versa. So it was more so just to have like a safety net and like a bit of comfort in the back of my mind. Um, but I installed it today. I got a, um, a Senna, Sena? I say Senna, uh, a Senna 10S. Um, I opted for um, not the top of the line thing. It's a bit of an older product, but that's totally fine for what I need it for. I um, I go on group rides, but I'm never connected with people in a group. So I really need it to talk to my fiance and I need it to listen to music um, or to hear like a GPS tell me where I'm going. So it totally um, fits the bill for that. So um, I just got hooked up today. I haven't tried it out yet, but um, I'm gonna try it out this weekend and I'm gonna hit the highway and um, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm so excited and um, once I get a little more time with the Senna, um, I'll do a review, let you know how how I feel about it and if I think it's worth it. Because if if you've watched my other videos, I previously had a Cardo, and you know I wasn't um, too too pleased with my personal experience with it. And if you if you want to know my thoughts on that, I've also linked that below. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my experience getting back on a bike. There's definitely hesitations. Um, there's definitely some involuntary reactions occurring. There are two takeaways from this. One, it is completely normal um, because I went through something that was considered traumatic. So work through it at your own pace. Um, it is totally fine to do the head. And two, there is no pressure 
right? Like, if you don't want to get back on a bike, don't. If you do, go for it. But do it in your own time and do it um, in a way that feels comfortable for you. Um, go at your own pace, always. And um, he'll get back out there. So, um, thanks for watching. The sun is setting. It's a, uh, it's Friday. Some may say Fat Bob Friday, which I'm allowed to say now. I'm such a nerd. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go have a beer. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this or learn more about my uh, my new beef cake, um, hit that subscribe button below. And um, yeah, until till next time, y'all raise hell. And um, I'll see ya. I just wanted to give you a couple general updates. So recently, um, as in like two weeks ago, um, I am officially out of Brooklyn um, and I am now in LA. Moved across country with my fiance. We like packed up a U-Haul. U-Haul was way too small. It, it, we had to get rid of so much stuff. It was a disaster, um, but we made it and we're here and it's freaking February and I'm in a tank top and it's incredible.